Assalamu alaikum. This is Sean Chen, your Member of Parliament for Scarborough North, and it's such a delight for me to join IFT on this online broadcast. First, I want to wish everyone a happy Ramadan. I know that this is a very special time for families, friends to connect, to be together. But as uh, we all know, this year is especially different due to COVID-19. And so we all must continue to take measures to socially distance, to frequent hand wash because we're in this together. Uh, and I want to start off by saying and acknowledging that because I've been hearing from so many different constituents, organizations, businesses, stakeholders, faith groups, and charities across the riding. It is a challenging time. It is a difficult time for each and every one of us. But know that we are in this fight together as Canadians and we must continue to stay strong. We must continue to socially distance to ensure that we're taking proper hygiene measures like washing our hands and most importantly staying home at this critical moment to flatten the curve to make sure that we are doing everything we can as individuals and there's so much that uh, is happening in our communities. I know that people are suffering. I know that people are losing their jobs, that they're finding it difficult to pay rent, to in some cases put food on the table. And that's why in these moments, it is especially important that we remain strong and that we be there for one another. I know that businesses are suffering, that many of them have had to lay off their workers. They have uh, experienced reduced income and some have had to shut down, uh, some permanently, others temporarily, but they have no income, yet they do have fixed costs that they must pay for. So it's deeply challenging for businesses. That includes our nonprofits, our charities, our faith organizations. Uh, but through all this, uh, I know that there is tremendous strength. I know that people are coming together in ways that they have not come together before. I look within our own community and I want to start off by commending IFT for their continued support of our residents. They are doing tremendous work. I know that there is a online program that Sheikh Yusuf Badat is leading, the virtual program that is happening each and every day. I know that there is a drive through service at the mosque uh, in the afternoons and that the community remains vibrant and connected despite all the measures that we are required to take. And that is so critical at this very important time because we must stay united and stay strong. On our government's part, we continue to be there. I know that many of you have reached out. I encourage you. First, if you need support, please connect with me. You can reach me at my office. We are open, but we are only helping constituents by phone and by email, but you can reach us at 416-321-CHEN, that's 2436, or by email to info at seanchen.com, info at S-H-A-U-N-C-H-E-N.com. And I encourage you to contact us because there are a number of government programs that are available. For example, the Canada Emergency Response Benefit, which provides $500 to people who have lost their jobs. And we know that some have reduced uh, income. So we made changes on April the 15th so that if you are still working, you can work and earn up to $1,000 a month, but you can still qualify and receive the Canada Emergency Response Benefit, which is 500 a week, $2,000 a month. There's also the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy, and that's to help businesses cover up to 75% of the employee's salary. And that uh, is uh, available to businesses. We encourage businesses who have had to lay off employees or have had to reduce hours. Uh, you can recall employees, you can keep them on the payroll, the federal government will pitch in. And applications uh, were open as of April 27th. We've heard from so many people and uh, we've introduced even more programs including supports for charities uh, we're including a funding of 350 million dollars for the emergency community support fund uh, and that's going out to support charities and nonprofits in their work to get important resources to vulnerable 
populations like seniors uh, during this very difficult time. We have also introduced a emergency benefit for students because we know that many students rely on summer work in order to pay the fall tuition. So there's a new program in place that gives students money for the summer months. And we're going to continue to listen. We're going to continue to listen and support Canadians during this difficult time. And I really want to thank once again IFT. I want to thank Sheikh Yusuf Badat, uh, also the President Akbar Warsi, past President Javed Khan, who has been keeping me informed and up to date. Uh, in fact, I met with Javed and uh, Akbar just recently at the mosque to drop off masks. We've had such an incredible outpouring of support from local businesses and donors who want to give back to support our community and those who continue to offer services on the front line. So we were able to arrange a donation to IFT of surgical masks uh, so that those who are continuing to organize activities and be at the mosque, that they be protected. Uh, and of course, I've had the privilege of supporting our hospital. Uh, and I know Javed has been incredibly um, involved in that initiative with the Scarborough Health Foundation, but uh, through donations we've been able to support through the Help Our Heroes campaign uh, to deliver N95 mask PPE to the frontline health workers at the Scarborough Health Network. So I just want to thank everybody for their continued generosity and support. And please know that we also need to support our local mosque. So the IFT is operating thanks to the generosity and support of its members and i encourage you to continue to give to support our local mosque we need to be there for each other especially during this difficult time and i know that with us continuing to support one another we will make it through this unprecedented public health crisis uh, unlike any other that we have seen in this generation, I know that we will continue to be there and I encourage all of you to stay safe, to stay healthy, and together we will beat COVID-19. So thank you once again for having me join you. Uh, I wanna wish all of you a happy Ramadan. This is uh, of course a time that we see our Muslim communities gather, but this year, unfortunately, we must find new ways to gather and uh, we must find new ways to be there for each other. So thanks to technology, we're able to stay connected and I encourage you to stay connected, especially in these times. Uh, I know that we are there as a government to provide support to individuals and businesses through emergency aid, but each and every one of us must take the time to ensure that our health is good. So please take care of yourselves. Make sure that you are getting physical exercise because I do see people walking on the streets and the ones that are doing exercise, make sure you're socially, physically distancing from one another. It is so critical, but not just physical exercise, but our mental health. We need to take care of our mental health, especially in a crisis like this. We are often used to going out there to work, to be with family, with friends, and spending time together, but this is a time when we must all stay home and isolate and that can be very difficult it can take a toll on people so please make sure that you take care of yourselves both physically mentally spiritually and to be there for each other for your friends your family members and your loved ones this is a time for all of us uh, to make sure that we are protecting ourselves and those around us and of course um, let's continue the great work that we are doing to support our frontline healthcare workers to support our most vulnerable populations including our seniors our friends and family who are older we know that they are at higher risk we know that people with other medical conditions and those particularly with immunodeficiency they are in high risk um, and we need to make sure that we take steps to protect ourselves but to protect as well those around us who are at high risk so please continue to take these very important measures that our public health officer has indicated many times um, and of course take care of yourself your physical mental health we need to stay strong so that we can come out of this public health crisis stronger than ever before. And that is what this is uh, 
so wonderful for me to see uh, the amount of support, whether it is IFT and our local mosque or the many other faith organizations, businesses, community groups, nonprofits and charities that are continuing the great work that they are doing because we need to transform the services we have always provided and make them accessible, make them available in different ways now that we are facing this global pandemic. So thank you to everybody for what you are doing. Please stay healthy and safe. And once again, I want to take this opportunity to wish everybody a happy Ramadan. Please take care. Ramadan Mubarak.